Three, two, one, lift off. We are here, people. This is the Colin River Show. We have Colin Rivers commanding the ship. And we're going to have in one minute a very interesting guest from Maryland in the United States of Amnesia. We're going to talk about a lot of things. We're going to talk about Trump impeachment, safe spaces, big tech censorship, cultural appropriation, rape culture, big tech censorship jobs, and bitterness from the left in a very neutral manner because we have to synchronize. This is synchronicity by the police. And you see me here, yeah? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Can you see me? Hola a todos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I see some people joining the chat. We just had some technical problems, so that's why we uh, it took us a bit time to uh, fix the problem. You know, we had some problems from uh, the United States. It is like, you know, live broadcast. These things happen. You know, I'm not a like a big corporation, and, and this is not like a $1 million show here. You know, we have... Uh, limited resources. Uh, we're not uh, Donald Trump. Though we have our su supreme leader here, our uh, big tamale here. Uh, something to say, Donald? Uncle Donald, what, what would you say? Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Oh my God, he, he started strong here. And we have Tyler, Tyler Preston. If you want to check Tyler Preston's um, website, he is on uh, at Twitter, you know, at Tyler Preston 20, Tyler T. Y L E R and Preston P R E S T O N for Nation 220, huh? And uh, that's on Twitter. And he also has some um, channel, some great channel. He's a content creator, he's also like an analyst, and he has very interesting things, you know. He's been highly recommended by one friend of mine, you know, a female one. So, you know, females, you always have to listen to them. And we got uh, on the other side, on the other side, through the other side, this sounds like, you know, Jim Morrison here. Uh, we got Tyler. Tyler, how are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm great. How are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> well, we all here, you know, we got the alien. We got the uh, crystal skull here. We got the Oscar. All fake, of course, you know. I, I make these things myself, you know. And we got a little uh, UFO. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> you were saying? Tyler. Oh, no, I was not saying anything. Waiting for you to just finish talking. Sorry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So we went, we went to like uh, go here and, 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 you know, cut to the chase like they say in Hollywood or, or like I say, Hollywood. <laughs> Is it a Hollywood? Hollywood. <laughs> Like a horror movie, yeah. So uh, uh, right. there, there, there's some clear things that, that they've been happening in America. You know, I call it sometimes United States of amnesia because people have some kind of amnesia; they forget about the past and their ancestors, <laughs> and, and, and and things are going sometimes awry. So, um, what's going on with Trump impeachment? And and, and explain to us uh, this the, the, the impeachment if, if it's going to actually take place because now you know democrats they're like doubting about having impeachment because it might you know uh, unravel some other things from the democratic party and i'm myself very enthusiastic about impeachment you know i want the impeachment to happen i know it's going to waste time and, and public funds and stuff but it would be great to see uh, some demon rats there being you know put into prison or something but but tell us about the impeachment um tyler Okay, for the impeachment, what's happening right now is that many people, of course, they don't like Donald Trump. Many of them are trying to accuse him of doing like a lot of illegal stuff. And so many people, particularly far leftists, they want to impeach him because they think he's breaking the law or overstepping his power. Because what's happening right now is that as of lately, there has been like various stops to like prevent the illegal immigration. 
because like a heated topic right now is like immigration. Like there are so many people like the caravan that I mm-hmm. believe is coming from like Honduras and other kind of Latin American countries into our nations. And so what they're trying to do in Mexico is to go to like a Tijuana to cross the border. There's like footage of them trying to cross the border. And of course, like Donald Trump has been trying to, you know, prevent those people to come into our country. And of course, there has been some judges that try to prevent the people from crossing the board, like to prevent like uh, his orders. And so, of course, uh, they try to challenge him a lot. Like there have been various organizations that try to sue him. And so I think that's why they want to sue him is because of his actions against like the immigration and probably some other stuff that I can't think right now. But are these immigrants, these nice people coming to pay the pensions of the uh, taxpayer in America? (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of funny because uh, there has been some humongous like uh, debate going on right now about like how racist the ID laws are because basically they think that uh, (laughs) that illegal immigrants also have a right to vote in our country. They also think that ID laws are inherently racist because apparently it affects minorities like black people the most because apparently they think that we cannot afford to purchase the IDs. That's why it's racist. And so it's kind of strange. Yeah, that, that's that's right. And um, what what do you what do you think the the um, the, the whistleblower? You know who who is the this whistleblower and what we know about the source of Trump complaint? I mean, do you know anything at the uh, you know the the, uh, the 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 news the anchors been telling some true about this this whistleblower or is this just like another um, you know uh, event or, of the um, let's call um, the deep state or people spying on the president? Um, right now, I currently don't know who is like the whistleblower, so I can't really comment on that, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and the, the papers, the transcript from Donald Trump onto the Ukrainian, is there some wrongdoing there? I mean, do you see something that might incriminate Trump for doing something bad or is it just simply like some, you know, Hush, wash, you know, blah, 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 yada, 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 kind of uh, from coming from the Democrat camp. Hush, wash, if, if I were to be honest. I think it's kind of just hush, wash from what I've seen so far. Yeah. What, what, what do the papers say? Do you, do, you, do you have a vague idea? I mean, the, the, uh, here there's something coming about, about, like, you know, he just talked to the Ukrainian prime minister or the president of Ukraine about some kind of a. Uh, related you know businesses with uh, joe biden in the past and joe biden's son what, 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 what is the deal about um personally i have not gone into that much detail into like researching that so unfortunately i cannot comment about that much mm-hmm. okay tyler but you, you you think it's all like a bit of hogwash from the uh yes. the, the the demon rats yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that, that's that's what it, it, it actually uh, uh, um, you know looks like when when you're checking newspapers and stuff that the, the, the story is like you know picked up a little bit with a pinch of salt. You know, it's like yeah, like very like very, very, very sort of, yeah, like whenever there's like some sort of reports, I notice that sometimes they tend to exaggerate stuff or just tend to just put stuff out of context. And so when you look at the stuff that's happening in the media, you have to take it with a grain of salt because sometimes you like to twist the facts. And so if you don't double check about like their claims, you have to, you know, not, you know, take everything at face value because I know for a fact that sometimes like uh, they take Donald Trump out of context. For example, I know for a fact, like when like uh, Donald Trump referred to like, uh, I think it was some sort of gang some sort of Latino gang, I forgot the name of it, but it was like, it, he referred to them as animals, but then like the media said, like, of course, <laughs> that they thought he said that the emig- like the illegal immigrants are animals. They were all, <laughs> yeah. was- I know, I know, I know. So, so, so they, they take it out of context. They, he, he talks about some specific, uh, sorry, specific um, uh, topic or, 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 or subject matter, and then they just blow it out of proportions and they say, oh, you know, Uncle Donald, he's really bad because he's doing this, he's saying this, he's a racist, he's a white supremacist or whatever. 
and, and then and then you, you you look back into the past and you see that you know he had a, a, a black girlfriend you know the black girlfriend is talking monsters about him you know how he treated her right, there and was also this video clip. yeah there was also this uh, video clip i saw where basically what happened was uh it was like Donald Trump dancing with these girls, like all these girls in the party, I think, probably in the 90s. And like the media tried to make it, make it seem as though it was bad for him to dance with those women. Like, what's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is so strange. Yeah, they, they're trying even to, 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 to get, get, get him his case, even if he like didn't pay the, uh, the canteen tokens or something, you know? Back in 1965, right. You know, he didn't pay for the lunch tokens. <laughs> Look how you know naughty, naughty he was. He's a bad. He was a bad <laughs> boy then, and now he's even worse. Of course, because if he, if he didn't buy the tokens for his lunch, you know, he might be a criminal. You know, so th th this, these are things that, that they, they like you're saying they're taking out of context so all the time. Even even things with Iran and I, I heard about. I mean, in, in news we know like you know news is fake news. You know, so. I mean, that's why, they, they, you know, they're news, because they're fake news. Yeah? What, what, what do you think about this, this fake news right. business? Remember, like, what happened, like, like, what happened a while ago was that uh, I believe it was, like, a journalist, and I think Donald Trump de-invited him from going to the event to the White House mm -hmm. because of his disorderly content, and he got really upset, and he tried to sue through CNN against Donald Trump. But I think, like for the case of the White House, like you need some sort of like rules of regulation, not rules of regulation, rules of how you can conduct yourself, right, to interview like the president. And so he was kind of being disorderly. He tried to play the victim. And so I don't think, like, of course, it's a right for people to report on stuff. I think, like, it's not just the press, like the media that's actually depressed. It's the people that is actually depressed. And so I don't think his freedom was actually, you know, violated because <clears throat> he could report about anything else. But just I don't understand why people don't want to, you know, act orderly when they go to a president and act disorderly. Yeah, that, 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 that is very common thing, you know, uh, uh, among the uh, anchors and, and news releases and whatever. They always uh, 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 try to uh, make the story like, you know, it looks very, um, how would you say, sensationalist or something you know when he's not it's just like a, a little piece of story and you know, news and it, it ain't worth it even to publish but because it's related to trump you know so i imagine the news they open trump is has said this or has said that or has done this or that you know and 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 then you know they they they, they close the, you know the final statement trump is really bad you know and republicans are bad you know and 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 hurricanes and tornadoes and twisters are all to blame on, on Donald Trump, you know? It's, it's something like that, right, Tyler? Also, right? Speaking, about, speaking, about, like, speaking about Donald Trump, like, you have, like, the hat right now. You also have the toy. Like, there has been a growing problem in, like, certain parts of the United States mm -hmm. where basically, like, uh, people actually are getting hit or attacked because they have the hat. And honestly, that is not cool. Like, I don't, I don't really care about your political background, like, I think it's important to make sure that, of course, nobody gets attacked over some sort of political opinion. That's mm -hmm. just dumb. Like, there was, like, a report, I believe, mm -hmm. at the Cheesecake Factory where, like, the employees were trying to shout at the uh, people with the Trump hats. And they got really mad, and they tried to kick them out. And so I don't think this kind of discrimination is warranted because, ultimately, it's just a difference of opinion. Like, no one should hit each other because of a difference of opinion. So it's it, we need have we need to have like more chats like this like we're doing right now instead of trying to hurt each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, so I tell tell us a little bit uh, because I heard people actually wearing some some you know uh, Trump paraphernalia, whether like you mentioned you know caps or hats, mega hats, you know the the usual. Also like now, keep America great again, kaga hats. Uh, they they're being um, harassed or something. Is is this true? I mean. Uh, and some people violent towards them. Yeah, it is, it's, it's actually is true. Like there are some reports, like I said earlier, there has been like the report at the uh, Cheesecake Factory. There was also like a girl, like it was a trans girl. Her name is like uh, Blair White. She's like mm -hmm. a big YouTuber. And she actually had like the half for a day. 
and then she was also attacked, I believe, by some 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 sort of Democrat or somebody. And so there has been cases on the news where they actually been attacked by these people. And was that YouTuber actually pro Trump, or he just like she just tried like a social experiment? Uh, yeah, she, or something? She voted, she, yeah, she voted for Donald Trump. Oh, okay, okay. Because it, it would be like funny if somebody came out on the street wearing a, one of those hats or whatever, and and was not a Trump supporter, and and see what happened, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it'll be really interesting to see that. <laughs> really interesting, but so far I don't know any videos of a non-Trump supporter putting on a hat to get attacked. I never, I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> and one, one very interesting thing: uh, um, uh, freedom of uh, expression, you know, speech, or whatever, is 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 getting eroded in the United States. Uh, overall, in colleges, th there are these things called safe space. Can you actually explain to the European public, you know, European people that are watching us, whether they're from you know England or London or Scotland or whatever, or Spain, Italy, that they watch our show? Uh, how 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 does this work? The uh, space, you know, the, the what, what do they call it? Uh, safe spaces or something? It's about some inclusion speech or uh, I, I don't really know. Okay, where it is. so so basically, the safe spaces are like places where people go in case they feel super super uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like I heard stories of people going to these safe spaces because they felt uncomfortable about like a certain class or like a speech. And they would have stuff like bubbles and <laughs> bubbles and coloring books. I'm not even exaggerating, too. Oh, really? And I actually went to like one of those, I went to one of those safe spaces actually at my brother's college, and it's actually legit. Like, there's actually safe spaces across the college campuses in America, and also like uh, there was like some sort of incidents. Like it was like a feminist named like uh, Christina Hoff Summers, and mm -hmm. so what happened was uh, she made us like some sort of speech or whatever and people got so triggered they went to the safe space with the coloring books and the bubbles and the dog so that they won't feel uncomfortable from her speech or something so safe spaces are basically like spaces where like uh the kids would go to like uh, the room to not feel uncomfortable right right but but does that have to do with this in inclusive speech or something like that because i heard there is something going on about changing pronouns and prepositions even or something to refer to people i mean what, what kind of people uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. basically like uh, what's going on in mm -hmm. our college campuses across the states is that they actually have some, some sort of class that's called like the gender studies class mm -hmm. where basically they're taught like these radical ideas like for example they t are taught like the feminism the social justice and so by the time they come out the gender, um, what was it, the gender study class, they mm -hmm. become much more far left than they were before. Wow. And that's for the pronoun stuff, like basically for the pronoun stuff, they kind of are, I don't think it's from the classes, but I think it's the, like the stuff to be cool and hip for the social justice crowd. Like sometimes you have like uh, they are dumb to refer to themselves, or sometimes you have these made up words to refer to themselves. And so I think it's like some of it's like from college, and I think some of it's like from Tumblr. Well, but 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 what happens? Like for example, I I I put a costume on, like a Halloween thing, you know, like a chicken. Well, they're gonna start like you know complaining about me because I'm a chicken and I get raped by you know roosters <laughs> or something or what? I'm I'm just asking, you know, I don't know because it, it looks strange, you know. People now get offended, you know, uh, by by anyone and then yeah, by, there's actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there actually are videos of people like uh, MTV News where mm -hmm. they actually make videos complaining about the Halloween costumes. This has been happening like for the last three, four years where people make these videos complaining about Halloween costumes, how they're so problematic, so racist. And so <laughs> it's, it's not uncommon to see these kind of videos all the time. Hmm. And, and, and another thing that you know, this takes on to something else, like even bigger. You know, there's a lot, uh, there's been a lot of talk about this kind of uh, rape culture that I never heard about. I mean, like, what, what is this? Like people okay. rape, raping Basically, people around the street? What? Well, okay. Uh, let me try to define like rape culture to the best of my ability. Like, um, 
at least according to many people, like they think that the United States is a rape culture. And mm-hmm. usually like a rape culture is kind of defined as a culture, you know, that kind of, you know, accept rape. And I think it's a very multifaceted answer to, you know, to actually see if it's like a rape culture or not. Like, I know for a fact that like if you go to, I'm not sure like in other countries like Europe, like European countries, mm-hmm. but like, of course, United States. Face, like what happens in like the prison or the, like the jails there are like a lot of people that do in fact t- try to rape each other and so i think that that they might be like a rape culture and like jail or prison but as far as like you know the laws in general society i don't think america is a rape culture because we have laws against rape and as far as like the college campus concerned as far as the college campuses are concerned like i think that um they try to say like one out of four women are rape. However, there has been like uh, I think data from like uh, what was it? I'm trying to think right now. It was like from the government where it says that uh, basically like it's not true that a lot of women in college campuses get rape. There was also there was like the Rolling Stone case I believe where basically it was like a, like a girl. She accused like uh, what was it? Like a guy of rape, and it turns oh out it was false. And there was also like, uh, what was it? Uh, some other case I forgot. Like the mattress girl. What happened was that she actually tried to accuse like the guy of rape, and there it turns out that there was actually messages of consent before they had the sex. And after like she accused that guy of rape, what <laughs> what happened was that she actually made a sex video of her reacting her rape. I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We, we're leaving in the twilight zone, man. <laughs> we are leaving in the twilight zone, you know? I mean, it, it's just like, you know, unbelievable, man, what people came up with, you know? And, and, and also, I wanted, I wanted to ask you, uh, th- these pronouns that they want to use to refer to people, what, what kind of, because we already have neutral pronouns, like there, and, 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 you know, his and her and it's, you know? So, what, they're making up some kind of pronoun here, or what, what's going on? I mean... Uh, just, I, just in, in to, uh, I think what they're trying to do is just to make their own pronouns to feel special. I don't think you have a basis in grammar at all. Like most people refer to he or she, mostly because, spoiler alert, there's actually two genders. There's a boy, there's a girl. And so like if a, if a person transferred to like a boy or a girl, like a trans person, mm-hmm. obviously it's like he or she, right? But there are some people who want to call themselves like uh, non-binary, which does not make any sense to me. <laughs> so I think there's only like two genders, boy, girl. So if I refer to like a trans person who turned to like a guy, I refer to him as a guy. And then if like a trans person that turned to like a girl, I refer to her as a girl. I would not use they or anything else because it's just stupid. Like <laughs> I have no reason to use these other kind of made up pronouns. Well, I know, I know. I mean, I, I even, I even seen uh, some some piece of news. I, I don't have it here, but but it's something about the the, the that the Oxford Dictionary is sexist, and there's a petition to. to uh, <laughs> have you heard this, Tyler? Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that actually. To to remove like... sexist terms uh, for women, man. I mean, this is like the Twilight Zone, man. I mean, they're like now correcting the Webster Dictionary and the Oxford Dictionary. I mean, what the heck? Okay, it's not, I'm not surprised about that because it seems as though that many feminists across the world are trying to just attack language in general. And this is not just for like English. Like I know for a fact, like in the Spanish speaking world, mm-hmm. they're trying to put the like the X for Latino to make it Latinx or something. And it does <laughs> not make any sense because obviously like Spanish is like a romance language and so it's going to be like genders for words. So why you put the the X for Latinas? Latinas, Latinas, we are Latinas, man. <laughs> we we are Latinas now. We change. Uh, we some of German. We like it. So uh, German. I think so. <laughs> we have no sex, no gender. The German, no, you know. I mean, it's getting it's getting ridiculous, man. No, I I I heard this news, man, and I was like, what the heck is this? You know, with the with the Oxford Dictionary, because you know, then then. You know the, the big platforms, the big tech, they will take this on board and try to ban every everyone that uses the word that they just you know remove from the dictionary. I believe because this is how things work, right? 
uh, tightly. Right. Like, I think what, what they're trying to do is try to impose their own personal views. And honestly, like, have you read the book or seen the movie 1984? Yeah. I think even before yeah, you were born, man. Like, like, basically, what they're trying to do right now with the dictionary is just the concept of new speech. That's George Orwell, 1984. <laughs> Things begin. But, but begin like, at the beginning, it's, right? Right. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, but basically, they're trying to, like, uh, they try to impose the idea of, like, uh, new speech onto us. Like, ultimately, like, as we know, like, um, language evolve organically. It does not involved by force like it does not involve by a minority of people trying to dictate what to say or not to say like mm -hmm. ultimately like the language that we use is actually dri is driven by like the consensus of the people and how we use it every day it's not because of people who are crying it's because we actually you know want to change the language organically through linguistic evolution yeah yeah i mean uh, ch check this out tyler Influencer, celebrity, journalist says teens are turning to YouTube for news. Survey shows. So we are getting into a, uh, into a stage here, you know, in our lives that, that people don't trust the mainstream media, the, the mass media, you know, uh, like I call them the, the, the weapons of, of media destruction or defecation, you know. <laughs> Uh, so, so uh, uh, the, you know, kids even they're turning into YouTube and BitChute and Twitter and whatever, obviously because they, they don't want to watch TV because they, it's all time like freaking, you know, bad news, whatever. Uh, and, 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 and the thing is that YouTube is turning like real TV because now it shows the, the searches of people that used to be uh, great YouTubers, you know, you know, freely talking about things like you, for example, uh, you are a, 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 a content creator, you know, and, and remember to go to Tyler, I'm going to put it up here now, uh, to Tyler Preston, uh, what is that, 20 on YouTube. 20. 20, yeah, Tyler Preston, you got it there, uh, just right uh, under the, uh, right there, you see there, guys, yeah, it's Tyler Preston 20, if you put an at, you go to Twitter. If you just put Tyler Preston 20 on YouTube search, it will take you to his um, to his channel. Uh, you've seen you have a video there about, uh, is that uh, SpongeBob or something? Yeah, what, basically what, what it, was that about? The it was the organization that was called like uh, ADL. And what happened was that they called the OK symbol a hey symbol. It was just yesterday, actually, that the news came out. And it was, it's just ridiculous because also besides calling like the OK symbol a hate symbol, they also call like uh, stuff like uh, <laughs> Pepe the Frog as a hate symbol. They also call like the anti, like the anti anti fall flag a hate symbol. So they saying like people who are opposed anti fall that group that attacks people, that's a hate symbol. They also have like that, uh, what was it, the triangle from Legend of Zelda as a mm -hmm. hate symbol too. So it seems as though like these anti-hate organizations don't really care, don't really actually combat against hatred. They seem to push their own political agenda when they come down to like their own own personal biases. So no, 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 I, I see. But also, very, very, um, very interesting thing you just mentioned Antifa there because Antifa um, uh, is actually uh, this pseudo we call it T P is you know organization whatever that people are trying to get them you know to be on a list of bad people whatever and, and, and funny you, you mentioned that because uh, Greta the the uh, the brainwash kid from the climate you know yeah. change thingy yeah? Uh, yeah she she showed up with with uh, her parents with the with the t-shirts of Antifa I don't know if you've seen this I mean is, is this coming out on the news there or alternative news that people know about that the Greta uh, number so, so uh, no, 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 it's not, it's not on the news at all. Like, uh, it's only been on Twitter. Like, I noticed that people found the image and they've been posting it on Twitter. But as far as, like, the mainstream news, like uh, Fox or CNN or MSNBC, mm -hmm. they have not showed that image at all, I can tell. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have it around here. I mean, I'm going to show a couple of things that Tyler uh, has mentioned uh, besides uh, some other stuff that we, we've been talking about. And, and also the, this, this thing with uh, the cultural appropriation that I don't really understand. So there was a big case about this the other day with uh, the Canadian minister, you know. Um, tell us what happened. Oh, with yeah, Canadian yeah. It, are you talking about like uh, Justin Trudeau? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I guess that's the Canadian okay. minister, right? Isn't he? I don't yeah, know any other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the cultural appropriation is basically the idea that a person, I guess, a non-white, like a non-white, not like a white person, tries to take like the culture of a minority, mm -hmm. and basically, it's a bad idea for people to take other people's culture, and on it. Honestly, like, it has been, like, an idea because, like, there has been people like, like a and also these other activists against, like, taking other people's culture. And it's kind of funny because basically what's, what's ironic about it is because a lot of the stuff they actually complain about is actually appropriated from other cultures. Like, for example, like, they tend to have, like, you know, I, like, there's like a lot of people who are a fan of anime, right? And so that's actually appropriated from Japan. Of course, us speaking English right now is appropriated from England. And so that's another. So it's almost like these people, they actually think um, that borrowing things from other cultures is a bad thing. However, it's not actually a bad thing. There's like a famous saying, like a famous saying right now. Like, of course, the saying is that uh, like the best kind of, you know, like the what was it like the best um i can't think right now the best flattery is like when you imitate somebody else i think that's a phrase yeah well well in spain you have the wise man i don't know if you heard that the wise man uh they're like the uh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. like like basically that's for holy week yeah yeah the, the yeah like what's the, the the christmas time you have these on the uh january the 6th you have these three kings from the orient that you know, praise and worship Jesus or whatever coming to uh, yeah, coming yeah, to town, yeah, that, that's, that's, and, and one of them is black. But but in cultures like white cultures, it's difficult to find a black person. You know, Not, nowadays it's easy. You know, but but many years ago it was very difficult. So somebody had to to get some. You know what I mean? Some of that um, the shoe polish on. Yeah, you know? I, I, yeah, yeah. I actually talked about that um, before with my friend from New York. And also, like, uh, the Three Wise Men, of course, is, like, the adaptation of, like, the story in the Bible. And I don't think that the Three Wise Men is racist. But like, let's take into consideration for a fact that the history of the United States, the history of Spain, are completely different. Like, for the case of the United States, of course, we had the history of, like, the blackface movies. And so they actually had a much more different period because they actually had, like, the racism against black people. We mm -hmm. had, like, the slavery, we had segregation. And so obviously when people had the black face in America against, like, the black people, it was actually a form of racism because they actually hated the black people. And, of course, like, for Spain, it's different because obviously there's not as many black people in Spain and so I think, like, the whole matter about blackface and whether or not people should use blackface, I think it depends on, the like, the intent. Like, I know for a fact, like, in 2000, what was it, 2015 or something, the movie Tropic Thunder came out, mm -hmm. and they actually had, like, Robert Downey Jr. as the black guy. There and you I go. thought it was actually funny. It was actually really funny, that, with the way he played, like, the black guy. I was actually convinced that he was a black guy <laughs> for a second. But um, I think it depends on the intent, and I don't think it's a racist celebration because obviously they're trying to celebrate, like, of course, uh, the Christian holiday, and so there's like not that the history is different. So no, no, the three wise men is not racist to me. Nah, I mean, uh, if if you come to Europe, man, people they'd be laughing about you. Like if you if you say these stupid things like this in America about. You know, I love Batman. So why are you why are you why are you wearing like Batman? Why are you wearing that 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 uh, mask if if you're not Batman or you know I love Superman. But if, if you if you if you uh, dress like Superman, I'm gonna get pissed. I mean, it starts a whole new uh, Twilight Zone zombification kind of like argument that it just doesn't take you anywhere. You know what what, what do you think? 
I think it's kind of sad that like we try to impose our personal history and our personal values onto other people. Like I know for a fact, also besides like the three wise men in Spain, like what happens is that uh, <clears throat> what happens is that they also complain about like that outfit for Holy Week, mm -hmm. where they say, "Oh my God, it's actually the KKK," even though like the history in Spain is completely different. Ah, well, that, that's like, history. Like, yeah, that, that's history time. The big. Let, let, let me check a picture. There, there actually, there was a <clears throat> there was a basketball player playing for some national team on the basketball league in Spain. And I think he, he I think he saw these guys in, in you know uh, during Easter time or something in Seville or or Cordoba or something, and he just like fucking got scared and ran away. You know, he said, oh, "They have to be okay here." And it's just some religious, you know, with the, with the big pyramid, you know, the big cone things. Uh, I'll I'll show the uh, the the uh, people watching. You know, the, the viewers. Uh, let me see. Uh, um, I don't know what they call the uh, fuck. Uh, triple K, Triple K, uh, Spain, perhaps. I mean, let, let's search here. I know because Google is like a box of uh, surprise. Caperote, they call it Caperote. But you see, Triple K, and they, they show the Caperote. I knew this. So you see, you have the Holy Week there. I don't know if you guys uh, watching this, but I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it here. Um, can, can you see, Tyler? The uh, yeah, I can see. You see the caparotis there, yeah? Yeah. These are actually caparotis. This is the, uh, but of course, they look pretty much like like the ones in, you know, the Triple K. You see Triple K here on the left? These are the caparotis. These are the caparotis from the Semana Santa, from the, like you said, uh, they call it the Holy Week, Easter holiday, you know, uh, March, April. Uh? And of course, they have some kind of like Malta cross there, Maltese cross, but that's because of a religious thing, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, it probably has some esoteric. Right, like it, it seems as though, like it seems as though that people are saying this kind of stuff because mm -hmm. they don't really know the call, like the culture or the history or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they see stuff, like that, it's like a culture shock to them. Yeah, of course. I mean, there are many things that if you go to a country, that they're they're culturally uh, reprobable or whatever, or, or 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 bad. But you know, you have to just like get along, you know, to play along, play along to get along. I mean, unless you go to some like, you know, one of the religious of peace countries, you know, that we know what they do. So you try to avoid those countries. But, you know, the European countries, they have a lot of different cultures that they will, they will look shocking to many American people that never got out of America. You know, even in Germany, you have things going on, you know, uh, uh, Austria and, and, and so many other places, you know, in which uh, um, they will look very shocking to, to people, you know, like uh, this thing, cultural appropriation or whatever it's called, you know. And, and also, I, I was watching an interview, very interesting, uh, uh, Tyler, with um, uh, CNN, of course, the Clinton News Network that we know about. <laughs> and, 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 and I was watching uh, Robert De Niro, you know, because now they, they try to, uh, they try to uh, stand by, by all these Hollywood celebrities and actors to brainwash the people because they're very famous they live in mansions they have a lot of money people aspire to be an actor or a celebrity or you know do nothing for the rest of their lives just like you know getting lots of millions in one minute or whatever like like these guys some of these guys stupid guys do and, and you have robert De Niro talking there like it's a terrible situation that we have to get you know donald trump out of uh, business whatever because it's a terrible situation but it doesn't give any arguments you know about it so, so what, what, what do you think about all these Hollywood celebrities, you know, talking about like, you know, climate change when they, they actually fly, you know, on jets and planes all over the world? Uh, um, what, what, what do you think about this, all, all this stuff, you know, celebrities, you know, saying, well, do this, whatever, but then they, they buy the, the most bizarre car or the like trendiest, you know, and coolest and fancy with, with loads of like gas and CO2 going on their emissions, you know? I mean, I mean, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio recently, you know, flew over to Monaco, you know, from the United States. So his footprint, it must be like the, the footprint of a Yeti or something, you know, because it's just like all over the place, you know, the CO2, whatever carbon footprint they call it, you know? Well, what do you think about this Hollywood celebrities, Tyler, and, and what, what you know, and what, what things are showing up there on TV, or trying to, to push this, this uh -huh. kind of thing? 
Personally, I think that uh, ultimately they're like a byproduct of our society. I cannot really fault them for using like the airplane or like the cars to get around. But I think it's also important for them to try to lead by example. Like if you're going to use a car to travel for like other countries or other places, it's kind of important for you to actually use an energy efficient car. And also to make sure to find planes that actually don't use that much fuel to contribute to like the global warming that they want to combat against or try to use like, you know, ships or something like I think, I mean, on one hand, it's kind of like hypocritical to, you know, lecture us about climate change. But I think at the same time, like, I think they should probably find other ways to, you know, travel maybe instead of trying to contribute to what they're trying to fight against. Yeah, of course. I mean, they're probably hypocritical. We know that. And, and, and also, <laughs> one thing that, that, you know, because the, the, the left is just getting dumber and dumber by, by, by the minute or by the day or whatever you want to call it. But, but the left's uh, next dumb idea, you know, you know, the squad, you know, the squad, you know, the um, Ocasio, the, the trio, the, the, the stooches, like I call them, you know, the three girls, three little girls, you know, crazy, crazy ones, you know. Ocasio Cortez, you know, going from a waiting job now being a, 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 a <laughs> in, the, in Congress. Oh my God, you know, I mean that that means in America, you know, it's the American dream. You know, you can you can you can be a, even like a senator or a congressman or woman without being nobody. You know, being a, like basically like Ocasio Cortez. I don't know what she is. What, 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 what is she? What, what, what what has she done? I mean, basically nothing, you know. And now she's campaigning. Uh, well, she's got like certain campaigns with the Green Deal, and we know that, and and also the campaign weapon thing, you know. But but also they're trying to get like I heard some Confederate uh, statues down or something. Is is that is that correct, Tyler? Have you heard this about the Confederate statues, you know, and some street names uh, and stuff being removed? As far like as far as like the Confederate statues are concerned. They have been trying to uh, remove it, not just this year, but like I think two or three years ago. Like I know for a fact there has been reports of them trying to remove it. And so it's not just uh, Ocasio Cortez trying to remove the statues. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and then, and then uh, 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 Obama, you know, and, and this is coming back to the thing because it just, it just popped in my head now. Obama just bought a mansion, like I think 10, you know, 10 meters, like, you know, 20, 25 yards close to the beach, next to the beach. So he's basically refuting the, uh, uh, the you know, the rising of the waters and the climate change, you know, because if you, if you were a believer in the climate change religion and all this stuff, you would have bought, a, I imagine, uh, I figure a mansion, you know, way, way, you know, far from the beach, not, not nearby, you know, and Obama bought one, you know, you know, you know about this, uh, Tyler. Um, I haven't heard about that, but uh, getting back to like the um, the Confederate statues. Ah, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know go ahead. That, like, yeah, you know, going back to the Confederate statues. Like, um, I think that of course it's important to teach people about history, and that you cannot really erase history by just removing things. Like, it's important to know like the good side of history that we have, and also like the bad side. And if we remove like the statues, at least in my opinion. I think that people would not know like the people like what kind of role that they have in the history. And also I believe that um that we should not ban things or get rid of stuff just because people just feel uncomfortable about certain parts of history that they deem to be dark or whatever. Like I know for a fact that uh, there has been reports where basically they tried to desecrate like the people who fought in the civil war by yeah, going yeah. to their graves and trying to and so it's kind of sad that uh, that people are doing that. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 check this out. Uh, I I've seen on Vice, you know, Vice, uh, this website with news. Yeah, and, it's like that, that, uh, that network with like the videos. Yeah, I know. Well, crazy, crazy stuff for, for millennials, for super millennials. He says, "Let's get rid of Mount Rushmore," <laughs> and, and of course, oh you know. Goodness. Donald Trump says, removing Confederate statues is a slippery slope that could get out of control, and maybe he's right. Would that be such a bad thing? <laughs> and then, you know, what about Mount Rushmore? You know, some of the people there, they were like slave owners, you know? I mean, 
unbelievable. What, what do you think about this? I mean, you were you were talking about this, you know, just like one minute ago. I mean, it's it's, it's freaking crazy, man. I mean, one thing that's happening, for example, uh, uh, down in, in southern Europe, in Spain, they're just trying to remove, uh, you know, uh, Franco. You know, we know he's a dictator, but removing Franco from his tomb, where, where he was entombed. You know, it's like like you were saying, the Confederate uh, um, generals or whatever tried to remove him from the graves because they were bad, you know, or, or, or whatever. That, that Franco, it isn't the case because the Confederate, you know, uh, army lost the fucking war. But 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 Franco actually won the war <laughs> and, and made you know Spain some you know some way or the other some some kind of you know prosper, you know. And, and they're removing that the socialist, you know. And then they're thinking, well, what's next? Uh, Catholic king and queen, uh, <laughs> then uh, another, like, another king, whatever. Like, yeah, like going back to like Franco, um, I know for a fact in Spain they have like, uh, what was it, the memory law or the the, the historical memory law. Yeah, they, uh, they call it memoria historica, yeah, you know, they, historic they, memory, yeah. I, I, call, I, call, I call it hysteric, and, hysteric memory or hysteria memory, you know. Yeah, yeah, and I know that like uh, the Vox Party, the the big Vox Party going on right now in Spain is trying to remove that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Vox is trying to get some sense back into into business uh, down in in southern Spain, like Boris Johnson here in London. Uh, but but it's it's very difficult because uh, this epidemic, this virus called the the left, it, it has infected all Europe. You know, it's much stronger actually, and much. Uh, viral in Europe than it is in America because in America it's basically un-American to for example suppress the first or the second amendment but but in in countries like Spain or England don't even have first or second amendment you, you understand so right, like just just today yeah right like just today I just heard news that in Germany like if you were to install like the European Union flag you can actually spend like three years in jail if you were to assault it there's also, like, of course, the European Union also just uh, trying to work with, like, the companies like, uh, what was it, Facebook and also Twitter to crack down on speech that they think be hateful. There's also, like, this whole controversy with Article, Article 13. Have you heard about Article 13? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us a little yeah, bit basically about it's like the, the article. Yeah, like basically they try to, you know, make sure that if you were to, you know, you know, make a response video like uh, under fair use that they could try to censor that. They also try to make like the link text. Mm -hmm. And also like if you were to like, you know, play the video games or stuff that is not allowed. And so they try to make sure that uh, content creators with Article 13 would not have much freedom in YouTube. Yeah, but... but, but and so, see, like the, it seems still that the European Union does not appreciate free speech at all. So I'm no, kind of no, fortunate no. to live here, you know. You're right. We're, you're really, definitely right. I mean, the European Union, whatever that goes against the the, the ununion, because the the holy ununion, as they call it, you know, they, they have also a lot of amnesia here. You know, uh, they, they 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 fought many wars. The first and the second war, you know, thanks to the Americans, they 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 uh, that they freed them. You know against different enemies usually there were uh, the germans you know but we know what's was going on and what was going on and, and, and they're totally anti-american you know and they they want america they like america to be like europe like everyone you know having copies on the street beer but nobody having a fucking dime you know so you just have enough money to buy your coffee your beer eat, eat, eat at your mom's house you know your lunch or your dinner and then live with your parents, you know? That, that's happening also pretty much in, in, in America. I mean, uh, things that have been going down the drain, uh, uh, and that's why we got all this, this Trump, Trumpification of the country going going on about jobs and stuff. I mean, how, how do you see that? Because, I mean, I see you're autonomous, you're independent, you know, from your family and friends and, and, and doing things, you know? I mean, how, how do you see people living with their parents? Um, is that okay? Is not? I mean, what, what do you think? really cast any sort of judgment on people who are actually their parents like I know for a fact that sometimes it's just hard to just find a job like I know like, like uh, for my case it took a job I don't just you know make the YouTube videos for money because ultimately youtubers do not make money this is 
sad reality. Like the only way YouTubers could get like, the Patreon stuff mm -hmm. or like the T-shirt or the merchandise, that's the only way that YouTubers can actually get money. So I cannot really, you know, go against like the people who are living with their parents because ultimately it's kind of hard to find a job. And so I think I don't really have anything against those kind of people because I'm also, can, you know, struggling to, you know, <laughs> get like the money and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I, I know everyone everywhere is struggling. I mean, there's a big, you know, crisis, you know, the, we know it's been for for a while, you know. But, but and I know you're pretty neutral. You're not like a totally like Trump supporter. You, you're you're seeing things from a different you know point of view too, and, and you're critical and stuff. But but I mean, how, how do you see this this thing improving in the next uh, five ten years? Uh, uh, I mean, will Trump you know uh, help the country and the kids are coming out the next generation or the next two generations to get alive and. And, and, and use their, their degrees to do something or business or whatever, how, how you see this, like, you know, the millennials going into work, into the workplace and stuff uh, with their degrees or, or whatever they do, uh, if it's successful and how uh, uh, Uncle Donald, you know, we got, we got him here actually, you know, uh, I think he's, he's like dying to say something. And yes, together we will make America he can't stop, Tyler. He can't stop saying it, man. <laughs> but, but but tell us a little bit about about this this uh, wh wh how you how you see things ahead. I mean, you, do you see a good future now, or is still going to be all this controversy and fights between one side and the other, or what's going on? Honestly, I'm going to tell you like a backstory before I answer that question. Great, when tell tell us this. Okay, so, like, uh, what happened was, like, after Donald Trump won the election, like, people were just freaking out. Like, it was, like, so bad. Like, during the inauguration, what happened was, like, Antifa went to, like, uh, Washington, D.C., and they started to just destroy everything. Like, all the businesses, they started to destroy it. They tried to, you know, get rid of, like, the trash cans and set cars on fire. And so I think, like in the future, if Donald Trump were to win again, I think the like the country would be even more divided. Like I think people might actually do the same thing like they did the first time around. That's my answer. Yeah, I mean we, we we're seeing some pictures there. Uh, so the, uh, people from the left is still gonna get angry. They're gonna do bad things, whatever. Same thing we we have in Europe. You know, they're trying to push this agenda of the left social democrats or whatever you call it the socialism wrapped up and you know packed in some nice beautiful you know uh, packaging but it's saying more you know communism and and and, and socialism shit, you know but 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 uh, uh, um i mean uh, we're seeing him uh, here things you know uh, 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 that, that they're going awry so and you're saying the same you're saying so america but you see like a, what, a civil war or something or just like little incidents here and there, little riots or whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, you kind of broke up a little bit. Can you say that again? Yeah. Uh, do you see, like, if Trump, you know, 20, 2020, the MAGA movement, whatever, he gets reelected, you know, uh, 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 will, will there be some kind of a, a strong opposition, you know, physically in the streets, uh, some riots or some kind yeah, of yeah, like, yeah. small civil think war? Yeah, I think if Trump were to win again, that um, what will happen was that like Antifa would probably protest again and probably just destroy buildings again because that's what they do. Like they label anybody that opposed them as like fascists. And so and they've been trying to, you know, attack like anybody that's the opposite of them. Like they attack like uh, that building in Berkeley where like Milo Yiannopoulos was trying to speak about yeah. like whatever he was. And then there was also, like, these other attacks in, like, uh, Oregon, like, in Portland. All these attacks happening there. And so I think if he were to be elected again, because they think he's a fascist, that they'll probably protest again. And the only way that they would not protest during the election if, like, the Democrats were to win. Mm -hmm. I, I, see, I see by numbers and graphics and stuff, and I want to translate that onto, uh, you know, uh, um, you know daily life and you know you're now there working and doing things and stuff i mean uh, jobs are soaring in the united states much better than europe i mean europe is doing pretty bad 
uh, um, uh, Trump administration, they are kind of hammering onto people's, you know, heads that, you know, black yeah, communities, yeah. Hispanic like communities are getting like, better. Yeah, going back to, like, the, uh, the Europe stuff, like, um, the most that I heard so far is that, of course, like, uh, it's like uh, Greece, I believe, and also Spain are the most effective, correct? Yeah. Okay. And, and Fran France are doing pretty bad with the Yellow Jacks and stuff. But, but, but let's focus here. You, as a black male, yeah, an Afro American male here, uh, you, you see things getting better for uh, um, the United States, uh, 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 you know, black American citizens. Uh, uh, Hispanic, you know, uh, citizens, Latino citizens uh, 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 who have better jobs, or at least they all have available jobs that they were in there before. I mean, how, how you see this, uh, Tyler? Okay, I think that uh, what's going on right now in the United States is that I think people have plenty of opportunity to work whatever they want to work at. I mean, like, if I'm a black person and want to work at a job, it's, of course, easy to get a job. I, I mean, not easy, but, you know, it's kind of easy to, you know, get the job regardless of the race. I don't think most people actually care about your race. I think people will probably hire you regardless. Mm -hmm. But what's also concerning to me is the amount of people trying to use, like, diversity quotas to, you know, hire people for their businesses. Like, I know for a fact, also besides, like, hiring for businesses because of the race stuff, mm -hmm. is also, like, in college campuses that they're also trying to discriminate against, like, minorities and also white people, too. Like, for example, and uh, I heard, like, in Massachusetts and also in California, a bunch of Asian people are, like, are suing, like, the college campuses for discrimination. And the main reason why they're, just, like, suing them is because what's happening right now in the SAT scores mm -hmm. is that they're trying to reduce points like for the Asians and for the and for the white people and make sure that the black people have like more points on the SAT scores because in general like the according to the data like the black people score less than those people and that's why they're trying to add the points from the Asians and from like the white people onto them and so i think in some ways like the racial like uh, relations are improving but at the same time, I think that some people are just trying to discriminate and just hate on white people and also the Asians now. <laughs> but there's just so many people trying to just openly hate white people. Like, I know for a fact, like, there are some people trying to say, like, black people cannot be racist against white people for some strange reason. It's just so strange. And you think Trump has improved things from Obama and, and, and Clinton's administration or, or Bush's or is worse? Or what, what do you think about that, being honest? I lived through Bush. I lived through Obama. <laughs> and I'm, of course, right now living through Trump. And judging from these other two administrations that I lived through, I think, like, I think Trump is kind of doing better than Bush. And, of course, as far as, like, Obama's concerned, he was actually notorious for, like, uh, being the deporter chief. He mm -hmm. also was kind of notorious for using, like, the drones against people. So I think that uh, in some aspects there are things that Donald Trump is doing better. Like, for example, I like how he's trying to be diplomatic with, like, North Korea that's a good thing. I also noticed that Donald Trump wants to just uh, try to make sure that the college campuses have free speech. Again, that's also a good thing. I mean, yes, like I mentioned earlier that like Obama was like the deporter in chief, but nowadays it seems as though that the Democrats don't really care about the border stuff. And so I think he's actually having an advantage so far over some Democrats. As far as the negative stuff, I think that there are some stuff that I don't agree with. Like, for example, like the video game stuff, like he mm -hmm. talks about video games in a negative light. He is very much against video games. I do not agree with that. I think he's also trying to be very authoritative, like with the smoking stuff. Like he had like Jeff Sessions as like the guy for um for like for a while, I think. I forgot how many years, but basically he had Jeff Sessions. And what happened was that he tried to crack down on like um, on marijuana. He also um, trying to try to crack down on like the uh, the vaping stuff more recently. 
Yeah, but, but um, this, vape, this vaping stuff is what, what, what is this happening? It's because people, people and, and kids are acquiring or, or, or buying some, some illegal stuff, not, not the real one from the store. So, what, what's going on? I heard something like this. Yeah, so what's going on is that like uh, there has been some death with the vaping stuff, and people are panicking right now. And, matter of fact, I believe that it was like uh, India that actually tried to that actually banned the vaping stuff. And also right now, like in uh, New York, there has been an announcement for them trying to ban the vaping stuff. And also for Donald Trump himself, he said that uh, he also want to ban it on a federal level, on a federal level, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's see. Other, yeah, as far as the other negatives that I can think of right now, um, I think that... Um, that basically those are the negatives I could think of right now, but I think he's doing better than like um, Obama and also like uh, and also Bush. But there are some aspects that I don't really agree with. I mean, what what things would you try to get off Trump? I mean, to 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 take out of Trump, like now, uh, right now, like. Well, I, I I know, like, uh, like um, sometimes when he talks, he's like, you know, very direct. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's as nice, you know. For no, 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 man. You, you, you listen, Tyler. One thing about my show and myself, and I also, you know, argue and discuss with a lot of different people, even Democrats, even yep. insulting the president. I mean, it's freedom of expression. I have you here on the show to to be honest, man. So, is there anything? don't like about about uh, about Donald you know that you have to to mention and be direct you know and criticize him it's good I mean you know uh, criticizing somebody you know whether it's construction or not it doesn't matter to me uh, it, it's good because you, you can actually hear these things and get better and see if it's constructive or not or constructing the the, 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 the you know the criticism or whatever you know I, I don't want to be here like the left that you know you cannot tell anything and you know they're gonna censor you and big tech is gonna censor you because even if you criticize saying you want to change things or you want to go back to the you know the original source uh, then you know it, that's all bad because we're not progressing or something that is a fucking bullshit you know so I, I want to get into things like this I mean like you were saying for example to, to you and to many people, I mean, not to me, because I, I have fun with the guy, you know, with, with Donald. So I know he's going to be arrogant and a little bit, you know, uh, you know, he's not going to be polite. He's going to be rude sometimes, you know, because he's the boss. He's, he's that character that he created himself also on TV. You know, he's not going to be like, would you please do this and that? No, no, he's like, you know, straight up. So so would you, would you say, would you say that um, th things you would, you would change about Donald? Okay, so the three things that would change about Donald. Um, I would think that he should be, like, more diplomatic. Like, I know, like, uh, it was, like, a while back he said that um, that some countries are, like, you know, shittos. And while it's true that there are some countries that are shittos, I don't think for a diplomatic reason is actually a good idea to say it out loud. I think if you really think that a country has a problem as a president, mm -hmm. it's more professional to actually address the leader. And actually, now you know, try to assault their country or whatever. Mm -hmm. I also would like to change. What else? What else would I want to change about Donald Trump? I think that um, he needs to also stay away from social media. Like sometimes he just goes on and on about social media, just using it all the time. And I think also what I would change about Donald Trump is to you know uphold like you know not ban stuff like not ban like the drugs and stuff like uphold like the drug stuff actually legalize make it marijuana and stuff so that's what would change <laughs> you guys are pretty strong on marijuana you know but it has its consequences you know overall if if you don't use marijuana how it should be used or smoked or done or whatever you know i mean i i never taken drugs i i I don't, I don't think about taking drugs unless you know i'm sick or something you know um i know there's right. some some really good things about marijuana i'm not a big big advocator of whatever that's drugs, whether they're plants or entheogenic, you know, uh, hallucinogenic plants, it can, it can take, you know, to like states, you know, that, that they're not pretty, pretty good, you know, for your, you know, uh, blood pressure and other things, you know, uh, Tyler, 
Tyler, are you like in the crib or something showing us your house and your fridge or whatever? What are you doing? <laughs> Thank God I have something um, like so that. I'm sorry. Like, my, my, my phone was actually going to turn off. I was going to the charger right now. Ah, go, go, go there. <laughs> we, we actually going to wrap it up in, 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 in two minutes, you know? So uh, that, that's why there, there was something going on, like some kind of, you know, uh, uh, static there that I heard. So it, it might have been that, that you know, uh, the iPhone was running out of, of battery, you know. But, but we, we have one minute, actually, because we're finishing now. I mean, we went over the, uh, the time. We got one minute to wrap it up. Anything you want to say, Tyler? Also, I know you speak very good Spanish, man. Can you say something in Spanish to the people? Something that just happened to come to your head now? Uh, you okay. know. All right, all right. Okay. I'll, I'll speak Spanish right now, so give me one minute to uh, think about it. Okay. D uh, dime, dime, it? dime, ¿Qué, qué, qué, opina, ¿qué opinas? ¿Qué opinas de los padres fundadores de América? <laughs> ¿Y qué opinas de y qué sí no solo una frase y qué opinas de los de, de Donald Trump crees que Donald Trump va a ser reelegido en 2020 claro que sí es, yo creo que es muy importante para él y, y puedes encontrarme a través de muchas cosas por ejemplo uh, puedes encontrarme en uh, Facebook puedes encontrarme en uh, Twitter y puedes encontrarme en uh, qué más no pueblo recordar en este momento pero tengo muchas uh, redes sociales para encontrarme uh, en arroba Tyler Preston 20 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyler Preston 20 Tyler Preston 20 uh, Tyler Preston desde Maryland uh, in Mar where are you in Maryland right now which city? um I don't want to I, I don't oh, want to say, say. My, my, ah, okay your location yeah yeah Otherwise, the, the, the Antifa, the FBI, they can come and get you. Okay, fine. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll, send, we'll send the chopper, man. We'll send the uh, Apache helicopter with the three Marines, man. And what was that? Uh, with um, Phoenix and, and, and company. What, what, what is it called? Team, Team B? Team A? B, A? B? It was Team A, right? Isn't it? Yeah. That, that was that. They came in a chopper with Murdoch or something. I remember that the, the series from the uh, 70s or 80s, right? So, so don't don't worry, man. We'll we'll help you out, man. We we'll send a chopper, a a Apache helicopter, pick you up, two or three Marines, you know, the uh, team A, and 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 check it out. But but it's good, man. And I I know you speak Spanish, man. I knew that. Some people on the chat they were telling me, ask Tyler, man, to speak some Espanol. <laughs> Ask Tyler, man. He's very good in Spanish, man. And I said, <laughs> I said, don't worry, don't worry. We're doing, we're doing the show in English, and then we'll do it in Spanish. You know, I'll, I'll dub it so your message gets across. And you know, we talk about a lot of things today. We talk about, uh, you know, this kind of speech inclusion, freedom of speech, the very important, the culture, you know, uh, rape culture, cultural appropriation. I still don't have things very clear with the left because they just make up things. Since, since all these, like, um, you know, uh, uh, all these class group fights don't work anymore, you know, the poor, the middle class, the high class, whatever, low, middle, whatever you're working class, whatever you want to call it, blue, or white, uh, red color, you know, belt and all this. Uh, 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 so they're trying to get other things to attract people from these little collectives, you know. And we, we also talked a very interesting thing about the Trump impeachment. I mean, I'm the ones, you know, you know, willing to see a, an impeachment to destroy the Democrat Party, but they're not going to do it. You know, it's not going to happen. I know this. And also the big tech censorship, you know, we talk about Article 13 and stuff like that. All very... Uh, uh, you know, we scratch just the surface. Another time, we'll we'll do uh, some more, some deeper stuff, uh, and we'll have you on the show. You know, on the Colin River show, uh, Tyler. I want to thank you, man. Muchas gracias, amigo. De nada. <laughs> and that that's Tyler. Tyler, don't go away. We're gonna we're gonna uh, say goodbye, but I want to talk to you just off the air. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as usual. Uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank all those uh, Trump supporters from everywhere around the world. You know, you uh, you are or you belong to. Uh, and uh, we have to go. We have to go. And I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. And I want to say also 
Good night and good luck. And this is the Colin River Show. Today we have Tyler Preston, and you go to Tyler Preston 20 on Facebook. Um, Big shoot, uh, YouTube, uh, you name it, you know, and you'll find him there. He's a very interesting guy. He's an analyst, a YouTube uh, content creator. And guys, we have to be checking out. Like roaches, you know, they always check in, they never check out. But today, we do check out here, yeah? And, you know, I hope to have brought some light to everything. And three, two, one, lift off.